Hi everyone, my name is Vin Jiang and I'm an entrepreneur, magician and communication skills expert. I spend the majority of my time teaching people one of the scariest things in the world, parenting. It's frightening, I've never known such fear in my life. No, I'm definitely not an expert in qualified teaching parenting, though it is one of the scariest things in the world. Look at this experience I had with my son. We were just trying to have a little bit of fun with lanterns and we nearly lit the whole house on fire. Look, what I am qualified at teaching is communication skills and public speaking. And over the years of running the workshops and classes, whether it be in person or virtually, I've learned something really interesting about my students. More than 50% of my students suffer from shyness. And when I say shyness, I mean crippling levels of shyness. It stops them from speaking up in the workplace. It stops them from making new friends. Overall, it stops them from getting the most out of life. And you're probably not going to believe me because of the way you see me now, but I also used to be really shy. I also used to suffer from social anxiety. And I've been on this communication journey now for the last 10 years of my life plus. I want to show you a video from about seven years ago. And this was me trying to speak to the camera to improve my communication skills. And this was me also after a year of training. Check this out. Hey everyone. Um, welcome to my garage uh, office slash um, home where I sleep, everything. Uh, I just had to make this video. Um, I think I said my name was Vin already, oh, I'm not sure. But I press record and I just want to see what comes out. But, oh gosh, I, I can't handle any more of that. I'm only going to play about 20 seconds of that. But you see, I hope you agree that I've completely transformed. You, you, some would say I went from being a caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly. Actually, I don't like that metaphor. I don't want to be a butterfly. I'd rather be a viking. Oh, ask <laughs> Ah, who am I kidding? I'll never be able to grow a beard like that. But I do remember being so shy that there was this one moment, and this was about seven years ago as well, when I went to a networking function to try to build my business as a young professional magician. And it was one of those networking functions where you kind of tell each other what you do and then you check if I need your services or if you need my services, etc. And the speaker at the time that was running the session said to all of us, all right, I want one of you to stand up at a time and state your name and what you do. That was all he asked us to do. Yet I was sitting there and my heart was... I'm going, oh my God, I'm going to have to stand up in the room. I'm freaking out. And I started freaking out because I was second to last in that room. So I had about 18 people ahead of me. So I had 18 people worth of time to feel anxious, to start to get sick in my stomach and to, to sweat profusely. It was such an awful experience waiting until it was my turn. And then guess what happened when it was my turn? I was so shy and so anxious that when I got up, I said, um, my name's Vin and I'm, I'm a professional musician. I said musician, I didn't say magician. I didn't even correct myself. I sat back down and for the rest of that evening, I basically had to pretend to be a professional musician. Yeah, that night wasn't very fruitful for me. I didn't get any new business out of it and I told a bunch of people a lie that I was a musician. <laughs> but why am I telling you this story? I'm telling you this simply because I understand what it's like to be shy. I understand what it's like to be socially anxious. I, I get it, I've been there. So then the question really is, what makes you shy? And when I talk about this with my students and I ask them, I say, well, what makes you shy? They often say to me, I'm not interesting enough. No one's gonna wanna talk to me. I'm not funny. Why would anyone want to engage with me? What if I forget what I'm gonna say halfway through talking? They're gonna think I'm stupid. These are actually some things that my students have actually shared with me. And what do all of them have in common? It's all very me-centric, isn't it? I'm not this, I'm not that. Me, 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 me. This is the biggest reason why we get shy. It's when we're too self-centric. I know this is a tough one to admit, but if you really think about this, this is one of the core reasons you hold back. This is one of the core reasons why you feel shy, because you're thinking way too much about yourself. When it comes to the journey of how we can move from being shy to confident, people think we can just do it in one step, but they don't realize that there's a step in between shy and confident. 
And the step in between is that you don't just go from shy for 20 years of your life to immediately being confident. No, no, the step in the middle is not sounding shy and not looking shy. Let me tell you what I mean when I say not looking shy and not sounding shy. Here's a, here's a quick clip of me when I first started speaking. And if you look at me on stage, I may seem calm to you, I may seem confident, but in my head, I'm freaking out. I'm wearing black so that it hides the sweat stains. And I'm wearing a vest because I used to sweat through my shirts. I'm wearing a black shirt and a black vest just so I can hide the sweat. And I remember getting off stage at this particular event and I remember one person coming up to me immediately and I just thought to myself, oh God, they saw through the facade. They're just gonna, they're just gonna tell me that I'm not fit to be a speaker. And this lady walked up to me and said, wow, I can't believe that was one of the first times you were on stage, Vin, because you seemed so confident. Yeah, my head exploded after that experience. I couldn't understand what was happening because on the inside I felt, again, I felt so nervous, but she perceived me to be confident. And in a really weird way, I started to feel more confident as people perceived me to be more confident. This was a really strange situation that was starting to occur. And then I know there are many things that make up self-confidence, but one of them is how others perceive you. Because the way we see ourselves is made up partly of how others see us. And as we improve the way others see us, we improve the way we see ourselves. The night pretty much went like this. I walked off stage, I didn't feel confident. That first lady said, wow, you're confident. And I was like, oh yeah, yep, yeah, okay, thanks. And the next person said, wow, you seemed like the stage was your home. You were so confident up there. And I went, yeah, yes, yes, I did. And then the final person that said it to me, wow, you were so confident. I went, yes, damn it, I am. This is a great example of the theory that we become the things we most consistently practice. I just practiced being shy my entire life. And that evening for me was me practicing being more confident. And the moment I practiced being more confident, I felt more confident. Now over the years of teaching communication skills, I've learned a few things to help you battle shyness. So I wanna share with you five ways to make you less shy and to help you become more confident. Let's start with number one. Oh, Craig, can you, can, you give me a, can you give me a little bit more room? I know you're editing, but just a little bit more. <sighs> Thank you. The first thing, it's about what you can do visually to help yourself feel more confident and help others perceive you as being more confident. The first thing is to improve your posture. Hold better posture. The second thing is use more open body language. And the third thing is give good eye contact. Number two, things you can do vocally. We've already covered things you can do visually because you wanna look more confident, but now we need to also, hold on, sorry. Now we also need to learn how to sound more confident, not just to look more confident, but sound more confident. So here are three things you can do to sound more confident. The first thing is you wanna use stronger levels of volume. Think of it as having a scale from one to 10. You don't wanna be using at least a five or a six. Let me give you an example. If I drop to a three right now, this is me just speaking at a level three. What does that do to my level of confidence? Seems like I'm a little less confident, a bit more shy, right? So strong levels of volume. The next thing is you wanna make sure you end your sentences on a lower pitch. Because if you end your sentences on a higher pitch, notice what happens? Is that everything I say sounds a bit like a question? This makes you seem a little bit less confident? Whereas if I speak it with a lower pitch at the end, all of a sudden I sound more confident and things don't seem like a question, do they? And the third thing, what you could do with your voice is you could pause more. Pausing more radiates confidence. Number three. Ah, okay, Craig, I, I, I get it that you have superiority when it comes to editing, but, but you, can you just move it up a little bit? I, okay, I guess not. Well, look, number three is to adopt a curious mindset. Get really curious about the person you're speaking to. Remember that one, one of the main reasons why we're shy is because we're focusing too much inwardly. Focus on the other person. This will help eliminate one of the main sources of shyness. When the other person is talking, ask more questions about them. Ask three follow-up questions about the thing they're talking about. If they're talking about a new hobby, like they just got into archery, ask them three follow-up questions. You know, how did you get into archery? What sparked the passion? What's the hardest thing about archery? And who are your heroes in archery? 
And just like that, you take the focus away from you and put it on the other person, which helps you become less shy and come across as being more confident. Okay, Craig, is, is that really necessary? Can I kind of... Oh, thank you. Jeez, far out, mate. Look, with the next one, number four. Okay, great. Now, now you can't see me at all. Well, I, I'm not playing your games, Craig. Not playing your games. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna play your games. They say the best way to, to treat bullies is just to ignore them. Number four, elaborate on your replies. When someone asks you how your weekend was, don't you say, oh, it was awesome, and then that's it, and then ask how theirs was. Of course, it's important to be interested in the other person and to be curious about the other person, but inevitably, the other person's going to get interested and curious in you too. So elaborate on your replies. When people ask you, how was your weekend, actually tell them what you did on the weekend. Thank you for bringing me back, Craig. One of these days, I'm gonna learn how to edit and fire your ass. Number five, and can I have it on the other side? I, I don't want it on this side, I want it on the Much better. Number five, have stories ready to share. Sharing stories is one of the fastest ways to build rapport and build self-confidence. But the only way you're going to have stories to share is if you start documenting the things that happen to you. Start building the habit of documenting stories. And if you ever wanna learn more about storytelling, the formula for storytelling and how to document stories, do check out the Stage Academy, my online course for communication skills. These are the five tips that I have to be able to help you become less shy and more confident. And as we end this video, I wanna show you an example of one of my students. And this example of one of my students, you'll see them just apply a few of these lessons. You'll see a before and after. A before, when they seem a little bit shy, and then when they apply some of these tips, after, just experience how much more confident they seem and come across. I have a job that I love and a fulfilling work. I, I really have found that I'm giving back to the world. And I'm so thankful that I took that step. And now that $75 seems pretty well spent. Punchline, punchline. Oh, no, no. Yeah, good. And the punchline was the shoes, what, your life? No, oh, the shoes changed my life. No, the shoes saved your life. Yeah. Boom, big round of applause again. That was great. It was about a year and a half after I graduated from college. I was working my first job as an engineer. I was asking myself questions like, what am I giving back to the world? What is it all about? What is the meaning of life? <laughs> you know, totally normal questions that one asks oneself after you buy a pair of footwear. <laughs> and yes, I am still wearing that same pair of dirty, stinky Chaco sandals. <laughs> Starting to think that maybe that was a pretty good deal after all. <laughs> Those shoes saved my life. Wasn't that inspiring? And as we part ways before we end this week's video, I just wanna remind you that the reason you're shy now if you are feeling like you are shy, it's because you practice being shy. And you've practiced being shy so much that you've become so great at being shy that now you have to learn and practice new behaviors. You have to practice being more confident. It's going to take time. Don't be discouraged and don't be so attached to who you are right now in the present that you don't give the future version of you a chance. Thanks for joining me for this week's video. See you in the video next week. And as always, if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments you'd like to make, please do leave them in the comment section below because I wanna use your comments and your questions to shape the content that I make moving forward into the future. Thanks everyone, bye for now.